you may remember that we were able to deftly shift from names based on big cats to names based on beautiful places in California, starting, of course, with OS X Mavericks. Well, it's another year and time for another name. And so we collected our crack product marketing team, <laughs> shoved them in their VW minibus, and set them out on the road. They boldly ventured north, landing at OS X <laughs> Weed. Now, strangely, this one had large pockets of support within the product marketing organization. And check but out these beautifully crafted new icons. So clean and yet so fundamentally still Mac. And check out that trash can. That is a gorgeous <laughs> trash can. You wouldn't believe how much time we spent crafting a trash can. <laughs> so, and Yosemite it is a great new interface. So when you click on the magnifying glass up in the toolbar, you get a big field right in the middle of the display. And if you just type a few characters, you can launch an app just like that. Or type the name of a document and you get great search results and an inline preview. It's really awesome. Now, in addition to these sources local to your Mac, we also tap into sources of information on the internet. So for instance, type a few characters in like Yosemite, you can get news feeds, information from Wikipedia, and even maps, all at your fingertips. Awesome. Now, our continuity features start with something simple, and that's AirDrop, because now AirDrop works between iOS and the Mac. <laughs> But now we have something where we really take it to the next level, and it's called handoff. So it turns out now that when you're working on your Mac, your devices around you in proximity are aware of each other and are aware of what you're up to. And so if you want to pick up where you left off on your Mac on your iPad, well, your iPad is prompting you right in the lower left of the screen. Just swipe up and you can pick up working on what you're working on your Mac right on your iPad. And this, we all love iMessage. We can continue our conversation seamlessly from device to device. But then we have these green bubble friends. And, you know, they have inferior devices, and they insist on sending us messages, and we don't want to hold it against them. But the problem is that those messages don't show up on our other devices until now. Because now, your phone is able to act as a relay to automatically and transparently send your messages between devices. Now, believe it or not, we're able to do the same thing with phone calls. So now, when you receive a phone call, your Mac gives you caller ID. And you can even accept the call and use your Mac as a speakerphone. 